Welcome back. Anthony Martial is a shock transfer target for Barcelona, according to reports. Spanish outlet Mundo Deportivo report that Barca are currently monitoring the player's development at United and may come in for him in 2024. The Frenchman netted United's third against Crystal Palace on Tuesday as he got back to scoring ways. Meanwhile, transfer guru Fabrizio Romano has offered an update on the future of United midfielder Hannibal Mabry. Hannibal impressed again against Crystal Palace and looks to be establishing himself as a first-team player under Ten Hag. The journalist tweeted, Sevilla wanted Hannibal Mabry on loan last summer, but Eric Ten Hag said no because he wanted to keep and give him chances. Man United are prepared to offer him a new deal elsewhere. Jaden Sancho replacement found as Roy Keane sums up intolerable situation. Manchester United boss Eric Ten Hag may need to dip into the transfer market for a new winger in January, with Anthony and Jaden Sancho currently unavailable for selection. So Manchester United made it two wins from two on Tuesday by knocking Crystal Palace out of the Carabao Cup. Goals from Alejandro Garnacho, Casemiro, and Anthony Martial secured a 3 0 victory for Eric Ten Hag's side at Old Trafford. United have now won back-to-back -back games for the first time this season after winning 1-0 at Burnley in their last Premier League outing, yet the Red Devils still have a long way to go if they want a challenge for honors. United have already lost four games this season, with Tottenham, Arsenal, Brighton, and Bundesliga champions Bayern Munich all getting the better of them in recent weeks. Again and again. Manchester United manager Eric Ten Hag ignored a clear warning from coaching assistant Benny McCarthy in the summer. United failed to listen to the advice of Benny McCarthy in the summer when they allowed David De Gea to leave the club. The Red Devils coach previously claimed it would be a crime if the Spaniard left Old Trafford at the end of his contract. De Gea's 12-year spell at United came to an end in July. After making 545 appearances in all competitions, he was unable to come to a final agreement on a new contract. Controversy surrounded his exit, however, with The Athletic claiming De Gea had put pen to paper on a new deal on heavily reduced terms. But United did not sign the contract and then backtracked, instead offering another new proposal with an even lower salary. Again and again. Who did Manchester United draw in the Carabao Cup? This is a reminder that Manchester United will play Newcastle United at home in the fourth round of the Carabao Cup after the draw took place last night. The tie is a repeat of last year's Carabao Cup final, which United won 2-0. Tiez will take place on the week commencing October 30th. Elsewhere, Gore's dream come true. Dan Gore spoke of making his Dream United debut on Tuesday when he came on for Sofian Amrabat. The Academy lad made his debut on his birthday and said, I think it's at the top of my birthday list. A very special moment. There are no words to describe the feeling. It's like everything you've dreamed of has come true. On the other side, former Arsenal striker and Sky Sports pundit Alan Smith has said United's squad lacks cohesion as they look to get their season back on track. Speaking to Lord Ping, he said, What could go wrong for Manchester United has gone wrong, both on and off the pitch. There has been a number of problems with Anthony. Then you have the situation with Jaden Sancho. It seems like there are too many players in the dressing room that are looking out for themselves and pointing the finger at others rather than looking at their own performances. It looks like they're missing some leadership in the squad, and they have a little bit of a tendency to fold when things go against them. Meanwhile, Alan Smith has said that he has sympathy for Ten Hag, given his tough start to the season. He told Lord Ping, For Ten Hag, it has been a heck of a start to his second season at the club. This wouldn't have been the start that he was envisioning having finished third and winning a trophy last season. It's difficult to say how United's season is going to go from here. There are lots of things that they will be looking to improve upon and fix. Ten Hag has the makings of a good team if he can get the team spirit going again. On the other side, Manchester United legend Gary Neville has criticized the Glazer family amid the ongoing takeover drama for the way they handled signings that arrived as star additions. He said that, I think it is cultural. If you see what is happening at United and Chelsea, 
There are so many similarities. They are ruining players that are being signed as good players. Take Harry Maguire. Harry Maguire was wanted by Manchester City, by the way. These players who have come to United have been ruined, and coaches have been ruined, and it is happening at Chelsea over the last 18 months with Graham Potter, Frank Lampard, Mauricio Pochettino. We know is a fantastic coach, but he is struggling at the start as well. Surely it comes culturally from the top. Elsewhere, Manchester United ace Sofian Amrabat impressed during his full debut against Burnley in the Carabao Cup. Amrabat started as a left-back, something he did often at Utrecht when he played for United manager Eric Ten Hag. The midfielder also enjoyed an impressive partnership with Casemiro in the middle of the park. The Morocco international came off in the second half, but left a lot of promise. Again and again. Manchester United player Anthony will remain on indefinite leave, despite flying back into the UK on Tuesday. Three different women have made accusations of domestic abuse with the winger strongly denying them all. Now, the Brazil international will voluntarily take questions from Greater Manchester Police and has agreed to hand over his phone for examination. Officers in Brazil allowed the 23-year-old to return to England after he fully cooperated with their inquiries and stated they do not require any more information from him. A total of four alleged attacks are described in a police report, according to ESPN. A source said, Antony is adamant he has done nothing wrong and wants to sit down with officers and let them ask him questions. He has nothing to hide and will hand over anything they want to see, including his mobile phone. He wants to be exonerated as quickly as possible so he can get on with his football career again without any distractions. On the other side, Manchester United legend Steve Bruce believes Harry Maguire would walk into many Premier League teams as he questioned the ongoing criticism. He said that, it's good to see him on the pitch as he hasn't started. He has only really started for England and played very well. It's a really difficult situation for him because this criticism is coming from where? I can't see it really from the stands. Not sure where it escalates apart from maybe social media. This is a great opportunity, and let's not forget he is a very good player who would probably walk into many Premier League teams elsewhere. Manchester United have sent scouts to watch every game involving Valencia star Javi Guerra. Guerra, 20, is garnering attention across Europe and has now seemingly caught United's attention. According to Marca, scouts from the Red Devils attend every match the midfielder plays in. But the Spain Under-21 International has an 87 million release clause and has another four years left on his contract, while Newcastle are also keeping tabs.